Are you trying to attract men only to have them flee before you? You might be sabotaging your own game by making one of these little-known mistakes. Some of the things women do to make a good impression on the opposite sex can actually have the opposite effect, pushing guys away instead of making them want to look closer. Here's what science has to say about the surprising things men find unattractive. Overloading on makeup You might think you look your best with a face full of cosmetics, but as it turns out, men probably disagree. You wear too much eye makeup. A study in the Quarterly Journal of Experimental Psychology revealed that women overestimate how much makeup men find attractive. And if you're wearing a lot of it to enhance your appearance, you might actually be warding guys off. Instead of caking it on for the guy you're sweet on, you may have more luck with a natural look. Gossiping It might seem fun to dish the dirt on your friends, family, and coworkers, but do it too much and it'll become a major turnoff. Why are you telling me this? People with a poor self-image talk about the flaws, failures, and scandalous doings of everyone else to make themselves feel better by comparison. And if you're looking to attract men, they won't be impressed by a show of low self-esteem. So before you share that sordid secret, remember that the most attractive women don't build themselves up by putting others down. Having no life Even if you're in a happy and mutually supportive relationship, Sometimes you need a little alone time, and it can be exhausting when your partner is excessively needy. Gotta get out of here, Prano. I got a stage five clinger. A guy will likely find it unattractive if you can't find any way to occupy yourself when he's not around. We spoke with relationship expert Sean Horan, who said, As humans, there's a tug between being autonomous and bonding with others. Instead of demanding he be by your side 24 7, make the most of your time apart. Bonus, you'll have more to talk about when you next get together. Having no ambition. You don't have to have your whole life figured out, but guys don't want to be with someone who lacks all purpose or direction. I have direction. Yeah, towards the mall. If you don't know what you want to do with your life, you may come across as unstable. And while a man might enjoy feeling needed from time to time, nobody wants the responsibility of rescuing someone who's constantly quitting jobs or changing majors and can't seem to get on track, especially if he's got a clear vision for his own future. Bad-mouthing your ex while you might be trying to show just how much you're over your last relationship, constantly criticizing your ex isn't attractive. Hey Tom, I heard you and Lucy broke up. Yeah man, turns out she's crazy. That's what they always do on Entourage. Not only does it make you look spiteful and juvenile, but it might even seem like you're still harboring feelings for him. And your new guy won't be happy imagining you spilling all kinds of dirt about him to your next conquest if things don't work out. Rather than talking smack about your ex and all the ways he wronged you, leave the past in the past so you can attract Mr. Right in the future. Being a negative Nelly We all go through a range of emotions, which is normal because we're not robots. But if you're looking for a reason to see the glass is half full, know this. Science suggests that men find women less physically attractive if their personalities seem negative. That's right, no matter how hot you are, an ugly attitude can hurt you. So before you drop cash on clothes and makeup, try investing in optimism and see how good you look. Having a high-pitched voice If you've been blessed with a natural baritone, here's a good reason to embrace it. Researchers have discovered that men don't love high-pitched female voices. Nobody knows the trouble I see. She's a bitch. According to one study, guys were most attracted to voices that were breathy and moderately high-pitched. Think Scarlett Johansson, not Kim Kardashian. That's good news for ladies who have a naturally deep-speaking voice. But as baby voice hotties like Marilyn Monroe and Christina Hendricks can attest, this is also one tip you don't have to take too seriously. Taking unnecessary risks While some guys love a girl who's more spontaneous and adventurous, being the wrong kind of thrill-seeker might be hurting your chances. Research shows that people who engage in modern risks like smoking, driving without a seatbelt, mountain climbing, and even skateboarding are considered less attractive than those who don't. Not that you should abandon your favorite hobbies to get a man. Extreme sports enthusiasts deserve love too. But buckling up and quitting smoking will make you a more appealing partner. Playing hard to get Once upon a time, the rules told us that acting distant and disengaged would make us irresistible to men. Unfortunately, the rules lied. Let me tell you something about men, just so you know. You don't know this. <laughs> Playing games is immature and can give off the impression that you're not interested in or ready for a deeper relationship. And even in the best case scenario, not returning his texts just make you look like a flake. Being a damsel in distress In fairy tales, men just love climbing towers and slaying dragons to rescue a helpless woman. But in reality, most guys want nothing to do with that kind of drama. 
Creating catastrophes to get his attention will just make you look desperate. The truth is, if you want to attract your very own Prince Charming, a self-sufficient girl who can be her own hero will always be more attractive than a drama queen. Extreme Makeovers Considering a total appearance overhaul to win over the man of your dreams? To paraphrase Billy Joel's advice, don't go changing to try to please him. Plastic surgery, crash dieting, or constantly changing your style can make you seem insecure, which is the opposite of attractive according to Joanne Cohen, a matchmaker and dating coach. Guys value confidence in a woman, and if you seem obsessed with your perceived imperfections, it might be turning them off. My hairline is so weird. My pores are huge. My nail beds suck. Always agreeing with him. Despite what you may have heard, most guys don't want to have a romantic relationship with a mindless yes-man or a woman. I rule number two. Laugh at whatever he says. What if what he says isn't funny? That's irrelevant. Being open about your thoughts and feelings, even if you don't agree, is the best way to create intimacy, whereas a lack of authenticity and honesty will keep him at arm's length. So when you have a conflict, whether it's over politics or pizza toppings, don't just nod along. Having boring hobbies no disrespect to reading and long walks on the beach, but some more interesting extracurricular activities might make you a hotter prospect. Are you serious? Dead serious. Partner mode. Let's put it on. According to a study published by the Journal of Creative Behavior, guys are most turned on by girls with unique hobbies like road tripping, performing in a band, or taking artistic photographs. The takeaway is that people who follow their passions and instincts are sexy. So if there's some more interesting activity you've been dying to try, here's one more reason to go for it. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.